Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I am of the stars. The topic right now is not for children. I ask children to turn off this video and not watch it at all because it's it's pretty difficult stuff to talk about. And I think your parents are going to get angry with me if you look at it. So please don't look. Okay, turn off the video. This is for the parents only. I have a couple more things to add uh, from the psychic realm, from the astral stories realm. And that has to do with experiments that people have apparently tried to get around the fact that children infected with HIV seem to be passing on at the age of puberty. I heard on the psychic realm, and I haven't verified, that there was an experiment some years ago authorized by the NIH. I, I'm sorry I can't say the yay or nay of it, I just don't know. I heard that the NIH authorized an experiment with some children to put them through puberty prematurely because they had the HIV infection with the thought that that might prevent their death. And I heard, I don't know, that that caused stunted growth in the children and wild sexual activity at a very early age. And that, uh, and that one of the children at least made it through, but that the psychological trauma was great. And then I heard on the psychic plane that that experiment was terminated, and I don't know why. More recently, I heard of an experiment done in uh, ranching country because of the practice that they have in ranching country of um, castrating bulls so that they can become steers and that they can, because of the different fat distribution, they can be slaughtered for meat and add to the income of a ranch. And I think because of that was born the idea that boys who have HIV might be castrated and that then that would prevent them from reaching puberty and the, altogether and then that they might be put to productive work as child prostitutes. Um, and the theory behind that I think was that children who get HIV must deserve to get HIV because they must be uh, juvenile delinquents who do drugs or who engage in prostitution or maybe children that are killing children. Uh, and I heard that that experiment would work up to about the age of 16 so far uh, and that the child might still be alive but you can imagine in a form of sexual enslavement that most people in America would find unbearable. Um, I think that experiment has, if, it's, if there's any chance that it's true, has been terminated and that the last five children are, who have been so treated are in the process of being liberated to foster parents. But I'm, as I say, I'm not sure about any of this. I would say it might be better than just going on our gut instincts or like that, to go with traditional medicine in regard to all this and to ask traditional medicine to come up with a cure for HIV as they came up with a number of worthwhile treatments for COVID just like that. With enough pressure from us, I feel um, our federal government will provide the answer. It's better than these, you know, relatively footloose and fancy free notions that have come up and resulted in these experiments with young lives, if in fact it's true. Oh, just one other thing. I heard on the psychic plane today that some of the southern um, prisons that have HIV positive prisoners have been refusing to give them drugs when the prisoners develop AIDS. And I heard on the psychic plane that the reason for that was that there was a misunderstanding about that word drugs. They thought it meant uh, Ill illicit drugs rather than medicine. So for those of you that know prisoners who are HIV positive, 
the thing to do is to explain to them to ask the prison guards for medicines for AIDS or medicines for HIV, not drugs. Don't use that word drugs, okay? That's all for now. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars, and so are you. You know where my website is, right? <laughs>